Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys all here, both old and new subscribers alike. My goodness, is this sage and this Palo Santo really smoking up, like, excessively right now. Thank God I have the air on and I'm in a well-ventilated space because this could smoke up any room. I don't think that's for an, that's an accident though. We definitely don't believe in accidents on this channel. Something's being cleared for sure. I'm picking up on a lot of energy. It's, it's, it's interesting. Before I even start, you know, I just keep hearing spirit having me share with you. They're, they're telling me to say the following to you. I keep hearing, don't be naive. Don't be naive. Okay. What do they mean by that? I'm picking up on an energy that's coming from the collective. They're saying, you have a very big heart and that's something that the divine doesn't want you to change, ever. And a lot of the blessings that you have in your life are because of that. It's also the reason why you may be targeted more than the average person. As crazy as that sounds, the brighter your light, the more triggering it is for somebody that lives in darkness. And that's just the law of the world, okay? But they're saying, because you have this light about you and because you are so forgiving and you wanna see the best in people, there's a situation that may be happening where you're really avoiding the realities, the reality of, of, of certain people, right? You don't want to believe something that you heard about somebody. That dog just barked. That may be confirmation. That's a great Dane that just barked out of nowhere. Okay? It's an alert. But sometimes for no reason at all, people will choose those. I mean, there is a reason, but it, seeming to, it may seem to you as if there is no reason. People may trigger somebody with a very bright light. Uh, meaning someone with a, I, I'm sorry, that came out the wrong way. Someone with a bright light may trigger some kind of jealousy in people without you even understanding why. Why people are jealous of you or gossip about you. You may even say, I don't have anything for anyone to be jealous of. I'm not a multimillionaire. There's, there's, I don't see anything for anyone to be jealous of. Sometimes it's just your light, your way of being. And sometimes what we perceive to be something that somebody doesn't need to be jealous of is something that actually may trigger somebody to be jealous. Somebody that ba battles with that jealous spirit in the first place. Because that's not, that's not a good energy to begin with, okay? You should never envy or be jealous of anything that anybody else has. That is a dark entity. When you live under those, with those binds, okay? But there are definitely, it's either a person or a group of people that may smile to your face, but I'm picking up on the energy of gossiping, okay? They may smile to your face. You may notice that they ask a lot of questions about you but you don't know much about them. 
you know what I'm saying? Fake smiles all around, act like they're very friendly and polite, but they're never there when it matters or they are there when it matters, but it's mostly to get information. There's an energy of a fakeness in the, in the air and, and spirits telling me to tell you not to be naive. They are jealous of you for some reason. And again, you may not perceive that there's anything to be jealous of, but that is not always the case. Everyone has a different perception of the world and everybody battles different dark entities. And that's a, that's a bad one. That's a bad one for sure. But Spirit is telling me right now that they are, especially this week, if they haven't started already and the Virgo full moon has definitely helped with this, they will be exposing the truths of a lot of people around you. Okay? Again, there is a lizard in my pantry that's right next to me. But that's a sign, okay? For sure, that's a spiritual sign. They are going to be exposing where you need to set boundaries and who people really are, okay? They're gonna start showing you who's who, what kind of person someone truly is. And they're going to grant you discernment for you to be able to make decisions on whether or not you should distance yourself from certain people, certain groups, certain conversations, however this may be manifesting in your life. Spirit's gonna make that very clear this week for you. So I want you to pay attention. But I'm getting it's not something that you need to like pay attention for. Like it's going to be, it might even come through as a ta like tower card, like a tower moment, like in your face, right? Like things being exposed, people's behaviors being exposed. It's like the energy of you thinking that somebody was one way, but they're truly someone completely different. And again, this could be romantic. This could be in the workplace. This could be a friend. This could be a neighbor. But I don't think you realize just how much of these energies actually affect your life more than you know. More than you know, because though there's nothing, or at least for, for however, you know, for a certain period of time, there has been nothing physical for you to say that anyone is sending any negati negativity towards you or anything like that. That doesn't mean that it's not happening, whether through the form of gossip or somebody wishing they had what you had or being jealous or, or how, whatever the case may be because of whatever internal demons they have. And again, spirit saying, don't be naive. When somebody shows you who they are the first time or when you see some kind of signs of certain kind of behaviors, some certain kind of energies, they're saying you learned your lesson already. That means you have to back up. You have to back away. Set your boundary. They're trying to redirect you somewhere for, you know, whether it's to move to a certain location, away from something, away from someone. They're trying to show you the path and show you what connections need to be blocked. But Spirit's really going out of their way to make it very clear this week. If it hasn't already happened, if drama hasn't already happened, There goes that lizard again. Oh, I actually see him. He's coming out the pantry. Oh, he went back in. Holy crap. That's a sign. And it was weird. I don't know if the, I don't know if this device actually picked up the sound of the lizard, but the second time, like the, no, the noise that it made right now sounded a little bit different. Did it not? It sounded like a, there he is again, or she. I haven't seen the tail. I could tell the difference uh, through the tail. It's, I only see half, half its body. It keeps going in and out, in and out of the little, of the, of the, uh, the edge of the pantry. <laughs> the second noise it made sounded like a laughing, like a laughing, um, like cackling, like ha 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 ha. It 
kind of sounded like that, did it not? I don't know if this picked it up. But then as soon as it did that, it was exposed. Only half of it, though, not fully. I feel like that, that's an omen, spirit saying, this person might actually be doing that, maybe laughing about you behind your back, talking about you behind your back, spreading rumors behind your back, 100%, okay? And they do that about, because of jealousy. There really is no other reason. But since like I just saw half that lizard's body, again, it's just confirming that this, this is gonna be exposed to you. That's, what the heck? Okay, it's gonna be going there, I guess, the whole reading. I'm not sure if I wanna use this deck or this deck. I'm actually being guided to use this other deck. <laughs> None of these. What is this about? You know, and this is just, there's nothing that you need to be afraid of. This is a part of life. This happens. This happens. And spirit is, spirit exposes these things little by little so that you can learn and grow from it and you can better your discernment. Because sometimes when you have a really good heart, because you don't carry that energy, that you don't battle that spirit of jealousy and envy, it's hard for you to even recognize it in others, you know? So, some, so spirit's helping you right now, make it very clear. I feel like that, that's what's happening. Okay. When I was talking about you, this card flipped, but I'm going to put it back. It's the queen of pentacles, the queen of gems in this deck, but in this deck it says she's considered the nurturer, right? That's who you are, you're a very nurturing person. You don't battle these dark entities, this darkness. So it's hard for you to see it. What is this? Judgment. It's hard for you to see when people are judging you, when people Okay, it's hard for you to understand their perspective. This card says perspective, right? They're just confirming what's coming out of my mouth. It's hard for you to understand because you don't, you don't see the world through that perspective. You don't, but it's judgment day. So now spirit is, again, making this very clear so it can come into your perspective so that you can see the truth in regards to who this is. For some of you, it's just one person. For some of you, it's a group of people. This energy irks me. I gotta keep it real. Like, I hate this. I hate people like that. I mean, because I'm getting a very clear, it's, it's a very clear, you know, somebody that, somebody that's fake, you know? Someone that may, act like they're your friend or is a fake friend or calls you only when they need something or sees you out on the street and it's all great or, you know? And behind closed doors, they are talking up a storm about you for no reason other than there's something about your life that triggers them and they're jealous of. It's disgusting. It's, it's, it's disgusting energy. I gotta keep it real. And it's been, I think that it's been actually affecting you more than you may even recognize. Four of gems is the four of pentacles. Here it says possessiveness. Whoa, hold on. Possessiveness, strength, understanding. And I did channel the tower, and there it is. Crisis. 
look what's right after it. The Five of Wands. In this deck, it's called the Five of Roses, which is the Five of Wands, which is all about conflict, arguments, someone talking crap, someone trying to uh, have problems. But it's so interesting because this deck has labeled the wands as roses. So it's interesting. It's, it's like, it's, this also confirms what I'm saying because it's, it's interesting to see such a beautiful illustrated card with a bunch of roses and flowers. But it's the card of, of strife. It's the card of, in this deck, it says competition, right? It's the card of competition. But that's confirming the energy right there. It's like somebody that on the outside is all flowers. But is actually in a silent competition with you. Okay. Yes. The tower guard says crisis. The strength is understanding. I think that, I think what's coming through as the tower for you is, is the, um, the speed in which spirit is opening your eyes in regards to whoever this is. Okay. This person is in a competition with you and you may not even realize it and that shit is crazy but it happens because of their own insecurity this is someone you have to put a boundary for if this is romantic the fact that the four of gems the four of pentacles says possessiveness it could be a warning from spirit that if you've met somebody or if you've been dealing with someone that comes through with a possessive energy that is a major red flag that is a major red flag that's a toxic trait don't be naive there are some naive people on this planet that think that when people act possessive, it's a sign of love or it's cute. I've heard it. I've, I've heard it from females before, though gender doesn't matter. Oh, he really cares about me. He's always calling me every five minutes to know where I'm at because he cares. Oh, he only acts like that because of how much he loves me. That's why he can't stand that I'm... You know, when I go out with my friends for too long and I'm going to respect them. No, those are not signs of love. That Those are signs of possessiveness. And those are red flags for somebody that's abusive and will continue down the path of abusive behaviors. That's not respect. That is not love. Okay? So that may be for somebody here. This is somebody, okay, that's in a constant competition with people because they don't know what love is. You have to, and the divine's kind of bringing that, bringing that into your uh, understanding, as it says here. But the four of gems, possessiveness, the four of pentacles is also somebody holding on to all their energy, right? So it's also what spirit is saying is they're bringing all of this, 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 and they're bringing this information so that you, you can have an understanding of who, of the true nature of whoever this is. And you not, so that you learn not to give your energy so freely. Because you're very, like I said, you're a nurturer. You're very giving. You're very, very giving. We saw that card come out, the nurturer. Okay, you're very giving, maybe over giving, over compassionate. Right? If you had a loaf of bread and somebody said that they wanted bread, you would give it to them and starve, that kind of energy. And though it comes from a good place, okay, the divine wants you, believe it or not, to guard yourself a little bit more. 
we did start off with the energy. Like the first thing Spirit said to me was naive. Like you're naive. You're giving too much. You're doing too much. You might struggle thinking everybody is your friend. And that's not the case. Not everyone is your friend. Sometimes people just are this way. Sorry, I had to piece this back together. Remember, you don't owe anything to anybody, okay? You can be polite with people, but you don't have to be so open and give yourself, give of yourself to other people until you really know that it is a true connection, a real connection, a respectful back and forth, giving and receiving. You don't have to receive to give, that is, that is true. But you also don't have to overshare, give so much of yourself because some people, again, are, ju are, are literally the kind of people that will allow you to do that just so that they can, just so they can gossip about you. And that allows these energies to affect you without even knowing it. But yeah, no, 100%. There's somebody out here. There's a fake person. There's about to be some kind of like physical manifestation of this coming to light. And it may be, it's judgment. It literally, we started with judgment. It's judgment day. It might, it, it's going to come, it might come as a shock. It's the tower card. Like, really? What's going to come as a shock is the understanding, the true understanding of the level of competition that has existed here between you and this person, whoever this is. Like, it is crazy. And I'm hearing, like, if you confront this person and they're like, sorry, no, that's not true. I'm not that type of person. Listen, yes, they are. Okay? Because spirit is telling you very clear to set your boundaries. Okay? Very clearly, they're making it very clear. Why spirit, um, why spirit, hold on. Why is spirit bringing this up today? Why is spirit bringing this up today? Why is spirit bringing this up today? Seven of shells is a seven of cups in this deck. It says illusion. Oh my God, and the devil. It flipped out in reverse, but I'm just gonna read it, okay? Upright, doesn't matter. And then look what's at the bottom. Can't make it up. The Eight of Shells, which is the Eight of Cups, which is the card that signifies having to walk away. What are we walking away from? Literally the devil, this devil energy. Whoever brings it into your life. Clear as day, this came out. The reason that this crisis is happening is because spirit, again, wants you not to be naive. You have an illusion an illusion about who people really are from a very naive standpoint. You don't see the harm in people, okay? You have an illusion because of the devil. You have a, a, an illusion in regards to the devil. And eight of cups, eight of cups is the eight of shells in spirit. Here it's a sacrifice. It's trying to lead you 
down the right path and they want you to learn how to walk away from this type of devil energy. You don't need a lot of friends. You don't need to deal with people that don't show up in your life in a real way. And you also don't have to give so much of yourself to people or give people so many chances. Once they show you who they are, they are, I mean, that's it. Spirit wants you to recognize that. Stop sacrificing yourself, right? You're almost sacrificing yourself, of yourself, to see the good in people, which is a great trait. But again, as Spirit is saying, kind of have fogged, fogged up mirrors here right now. And this stinks because who wants, who wants to have these type of people around you, people that are in a silent competition or maybe a very open competition with you, but I'm getting the energy that it's, it's either silent because they're manipulative or it's silent because you don't realize it or it's silent because they don't make it known to you, but it's open, you know, it's, it's, it's clear to everyone else, right? Because they talk to everyone else or throw you under the bus a lot or, or whatever the case may be. And sometimes walking away from people that have this kind of energy is hard if it's a family member or if it's someone that you truly wanted to believe was an honest person or... or had your best intentions in mind it's hard to accept those things sometimes we don't want to walk away because it's family we don't want to walk away we don't you know but again that's all an illusion from the devil it's all a spirit wants you to make yourself the priority as long as you have energy around you that's in competition with yours or possessive over yours as long as that's the case, you will eternally feel drained for reasons that you can't explain. Doors are not going to open for you in your life as fast as they should. Um, if someone is jealous of you because of material things, you're going to find many situations where you're going to lose material things and you don't even know why bills popping up left and right it's because of this energy because every time that this person feels or thinks that what you know a certain way about you or gossips around you it's almost like they're putting out a spell something out into the universe that they almost wish that you didn't have the things that you had or that they had what you have you understand they will get their karma for feeling this way or being this way that but that's not your journey that's 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 something they're you know that's gonna to happen to them privately but right now if this is all about you this still affects you this still affects you as irrational as it seems for why somebody would behave the way they do i'm telling you but it's this it's it happens people can behave like this for something as simple as going on a vacation with 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 your husband or your wife or your friend you post a picture you know and because they can't go on vacation, like that, that triggers something and that you understand, like this is the kind of person that I'm picking up on. But what I'm picking up on has literally verbalized things about you to other people. And it's, if you knew, you wouldn't want to be around this person. How is this tower moment gonna manifest here? Hold on. How is this tower moment gonna manifest? The Prince of Gems, the Builder. The Prince of Gems is the Prince of Pentacles. It's like, okay, something's gonna happen and this person is going to actually come forward as, they're, as, as if they're balanced, as if they're generous, they're a generous person, okay? They are, they wanna offer an apology to you I, 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 this actually might may be happening, okay? This is somebody that, because I keep getting the energy that this is somebody that acts one way on the outside and, you know, 
a completely different way on the inside. So you may hear somebody and you may actually hear something about somebody and you may confront them and, and they may approach you and say, I'm sorry, I'm so embarrassed about that. I would never, you know, and seem very generous with you. The divine wants you to, as, as much as it sounds good, again, don't be naive. This, this, this is somebody that is very used to putting on, uh, this is somebody that's very used to putting on a shell, right? of being, like they have mastered being fake that well. They don't mean it. They, they might offer an apology and act all generous or whatever the case may be, and then hang up the phone with you and, and go to someone, whoever they trust the most, whether their husband or wife or, or, or somebody, and talk so much trash about you. You know, it's that kind of person, right? So, I mean, this is, this is crazy. This is the first time that I've, I've like actually, I think I've ever said something along the lines of like, don't accept an apology. I'm not saying reject it. You can accept it verbally, but set your boundaries and disconnect from this person, this, why, why spirit? Princess of Wings is the is is the uh, the Knight of um, Swords. Whoa. The Knight of Swords here says the Messenger, and the Death card is Transformation. <laughs> Death and transformation, and ending and a transformation. It's just confirming what I'm saying, though. It's just saying, you know, when you get this message, literal, I'm saying that before this card that says messenger even came out, that's what I channel. That you're going to receive a message of, of some kind of apology. They're going to want to act generous all of a sudden or whatever the case may be. But regardless of that, the divine wants you to put some kind of end, death, okay, to this kind of behavior. And don't be afraid to stand up for yourself is what they're saying. Like you might be the kind of person to bite your tongue often. Like accept it. Yeah, okay, it's okay, it's okay. You know, I, I understand. We know when they offer you some kind of apology, the divine doesn't want you to do that today or whenever this happens. The divine wants you to say, you don't have to be rude. You don't have to stoop down to their level. Absolutely not. We don't have to do all that. But you are, the divine wants you to get your point across. And make it very clear that you accept their apology or whatever, but you don't, you don't appreciate their behavior or, or, or whatever the case may be. Don't just be over passive here, okay? And then move on, set a boundary, and transform. Where's the transformation? The transformation comes in regards to you. Transforming and understanding and having a different perspective on the truth in regards to how some people can be and not be naive and protecting your energy a little bit more. Yes. I mean, oh my God, again? It's, oh no, this is the five of swords, not the five of wands. I thought it was the five of wands again. The Five of Swords is not a great card either. The Five of Swords is somebody that's constantly wanting to one-up you, throw you under the bus. It's a fake person. And it's, again, it's after, the, you know, same thing. It's like, okay, you offer an apology, generosity, and a message. You want to transform this. You want to make it better. And then you get off the phone or whatever, and you're still an asshole, okay? You're still, in, you're still Five of Swords energy, okay? You're still fake. There is a little fake person in your vicinity. But again, this is just a lesson that Spirit wants you to learn. I want you to learn. You don't have to, this is not, I don't feel like this is, this may or may not affect you a lot, but they don't, at least Spirit doesn't actually want this to affect you long term because, you know, the only thing Spirit wants you to take from this is learning how to stand up for yourself, okay? Don't be so passive. Hold on. Anything else you want to say about this? Oh my gosh, what? Did something flip here or not? It just looks funny. 
Okay. Okay, I'll accept that one. Two of abundance, it says, life may be feeling a little out of balance right now. You may be working multiple jobs or trying to make a change to your dream career. It's important to keep things light and stay in touch with your inner child. Make your work as playful as possible. Multitasking with a positive attitude brings, brings you success. That's very interesting because you may read that and be like, you know, what does that have anything? How does that have anything to do with the message here? Um, it's because they're trying to say that if life is feeling a little bit out of balance, it's because of the energy of these people or this person. Or you allowing these people into your life or giving too much of yourself. When they say something, again, about multiple jobs or trying to make it, or, you know, that's, that's the problem. The more, you know, it's, it's, it's the energy of, I keep getting, like, being, giving too much of yourself to people. And not realizing that people, there's a lot of jealous people. People are, there's a lot of jealous people. A lot of envious people that are envious and jealous of you. It's the truth. Whether you want to recognize that, understand that or not. And this kind of behavior usually starts young. Usually starts young and then, you know, they're not guided in the right direction. It doesn't stop. Because I've experienced this kind of behavior even as young as, not me personally, I'm meaning people that have bullied my child, okay? And that, has always, that always breaks my heart when, you know, my, my daughter has had some kind of issues with, with some kids, um, mostly in the past year, okay? Um, that have been tough because that's the hardest thing for me to deal with. She's 10. Some of these kids are like 10 turning 11 years old and this is usually when it starts, but some of the behaviors from some kids, some girls in particular, boys don't usually act this way, are just shocking because I see this kind of behavior even in, in some kids and you see them as just kids like, wow, you're a child. Like how, how is it possible? You're so young, you know, but this darkness could affect because they see it sometimes, you know, most, a lot of times they see it at home. Um, or it's just a, a, some, some darkness, some insecurity, something that they deal with and there's never, there's not somebody there to tell them it's inappropriate you know, to deal with feelings like jealousy and envy, and they grow up to be people like this. It's, it's the reality, and I'm telling you, it's a, it's, it's, it exists. It definitely exists, okay? It definitely exists. All right, that's what I got for today. I'm gonna to see if I can record again later, but I guess, you know, definite, but the tower, the tower card is, is definitely something coming. Like it's, it's a culmination. Everything's coming to a head right now. People are being exposed. Don't let it get to you though. And take it as a lesson. Love and light.